when we entangle that with the internet, well, we start to entangle that with the systemization, the quantization of everything we do. When you turn your car on, like most people, even in this quite technical audience, uh, who buy a new car are not cognizant of the fact that the phone or the car is a phone. It has a cellular radio built into it that costs the manufacturer only forty dollars a unit. Uh, that will tell them, you know, when your car needs to come in for service. It'll tell them how fast it's been going. It'll tell them where it's at. It'll allow them to turn it off and take it back in the case uh, that you don't pay your lease or, or whatever. Um, when this happens at an individual level uh, of an individual event, an individual um, appliance, you know, it can be concerning, but it's not, uh, you know, existentially threatening. When it's everything everywhere, when it is all electricity, when it is all devices, when it's when we go out on the street, when it's when we drive an old car that was manufactured in like 1955 and has like big old crazy Buick tails on it, uh, you would think that, you know, then you wouldn't be tracked. But now we have automated license plate readers uh, and everything else. We have facial recognition that's happening everywhere. We have biometrics that are spreading everywhere. And more and more and more, we have demands for the proven identity that are asserted at every interaction with, again, that ring of institutions. Uh, and again, regardless of their, in, uh, of their um, industry, uh, regardless of whether they are corporate or governmental, if you look over the fullness of time of the last several decades, really, you, know, you can start to get into hundreds of years, um, you'll see that the institutions feel a greater sense of fraternity, a greater sense of uh, kinship, greater ties of identity to other institutions than they do to you and to the public at large and to society writ broad. Um, and this, I think, is... Uh, the central problem uh, that we are facing. We have been, as individuals, uh, we have been, as a society, atomized, fragmented, spread, uh, spread thin, and uh, really harried by a thousand demands and needs and requests uh, for attention, for decision, um, at the same time that all of the things that are most consequential in our lives, the way we're tracked, the things that are determining uh, whether we get a job, whether we get a loan, um, you know, uh, the, the thousand little algorithmic decisions that decide what pops up on your news feed, uh, what the next thing on the timeline is that showed to you, and what thing is next concealed. Uh, these happen sub rosa, they happen under the table. We are not aware of them, and increasingly, not just because of politicization, uh, but also because the Mark Zuckerbergian. Uh, sort of dis dictatorial model of internet service platforms where we have these uh, centralized decision-making silos uh, that order literally uh, and influence um, the attention and decisions of billions 